So how clean are Chicago's public schools? Not very, based on recent inspections. According to CPS, of the 125 schools inspected, 90 failed those inspections. But as CBS 2's My Martinez reports, the school district hopes hiring more custodians and a new agreement with the union representing them will change that. Rodents, roaches, mold, mildew, asbestos. And those are just a few of the problems facing some Chicago public schools, according to teachers union official Michael Brunson. In other words, filthy, unsanitary, unhealthy schools. One of those schools, Mollison Elementary, where these photographs show a mouse and bugs. Many CTU members say it's difficult for them to teach and students to learn when. We have mice running around when we, when we can't get our classrooms clean. Brunson and other members of the CTU blame the problem largely on Aramark and Sodexo Magic, the two private companies tasked with cleaning and maintaining CPS schools. Under their management, the number of custodians working in CPS schools has been slashed dramatically. While Aramark gets filthy rich, hundreds of million dollars of contracts, our schools remain filthy. CPS officials say they're not going to end those contracts, but hoping to avoid a strike, they did reach an agreement with SEIU Local 1 to add 200 custodians to deep clean schools over the summer break and hire 100 of them full time for the next school year. The price tag for the new deal, a little more than $7 million. As part of our budget process, Dr. Jackson made it very clear this is a key priority, so when we announce our budget later on this year, it'll be included in that. As part of the agreement, CPS will also meet on a quarterly basis with SEIU leadership and vendors to ensure that they are able to address issues in schools before they become critical. Rob and Erica, CPS is also planning monthly inspections in the next fiscal year. All right, sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Mai. Mm -hmm.